Hi, my name is Travis Pyatt with Rupture Pin Technology. Today, we're here to disassemble and reassemble our mud valve. Today in particular, we're gonna be disassembling our model IA, which handles pressures from 500 to 6,000 PSI. Also note that our model IB, which handles pressures from 500 to 10,000, is a very similar process. However, it has a separate rebuild kit. Make sure you order the correct rebuild kit from your representative. The first step in disassembling the mud valve is to take the pen out. You simply unscrew the top nut, Just pull the pin. The second step of the process is to remove these 12 bolts here. Now we're ready to remove the top works. With your top works removed, you have two main seals to check. You have one on the outside and one on the inside. For the model IBU, our higher pressure valve, you'll have one on the outside and two on the inside. Next we'll remove the sleeve and the all threads. On the left, you'll notice the all thread with the holding nut for the model IA, our lower pressure valve. On the right, for our model IB, the heavier pressure valve, you'll notice a heavier duty bolt. The disassembly process is exactly the same for both valves. Next, we'll remove the seat cage. With the entire top works, the piston, and the seat cage removed, you're able to check the body of the valve. First you check the top seal, and you'll have a second seal towards the bottom of the valve. Next, you'll pull the piston out of the seat cage and verify that the seat cage is in good operating condition. With your piston removed, you have three main items to check, your bumper and your two main seals. Should you need to replace the seals, you'll remove the piston nut with an Allen wrench, taking everything out in this direction, replace your two seals, and assemble back. Then you're ready to go. Now that you've verified all your parts are in good operating condition, you want to re-grease all seals starting with the piston. You just use a dollop of grease, make sure you have complete coverage of all seals. With the seals properly lubricated, now we're ready for reassembly. We'll start with the seat cage by adding some anti-seize to the threads. Now we're ready for actual reassembly of the valve. We'll start by placing the seat cage back into the body. This is where the anti-seize lubricant helps keep the seat cage from locking up. You want to make sure that the cage is well seated, not too tight. Next we'll add the piston to the seat cage. Next we'll add our all threads to the body. Now we're ready for the sleeve. Now we'll add the top works. Now that your top works is in place and prior to installing your nuts, you want to make sure your Nordlock washers, that the mating faces are facing each other correctly.
With everything in place, now you want to tighten your nuts in a normal cross pattern with 75 pounds of torque. The last and final step of the reassembly process is adding the pin and the holding nut. You only tighten the holding nut hand tight. We recommend one pump of grease to the grease cert each week for the ease of routine maintenance. Any additional questions, you can reach out to your local representative. You can find your local representative at www.rupturepin.com. We thank you very much for your business and look forward to meeting you in the future.